Maybe you're like us, and as you begin a DIY project, you are finding it getting a little bit more difficult as you get older. Today, we are talking about age and DIYing. Got three, two, one now. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, my back. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was a, perfect, wasn't it? <laughs> there's a little bit more reality than that yeah. than <laughs> what you really want to deal with. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Jen. And I'm Trent. And this is another show of Your Home Renewed, and we are so glad that you are with us today. Very much glad. And, you know, this is a big monumental year for me. I hit yeah. a, a huge milestone yeah. this year. That the big is, 6-0. No, no. You added 10 years. I hit the big five zero, mm -hmm. and you know, trying to navigate yeah. all of the changes. A little suddenly, harder to bend down, isn't it? Oh yeah. And suddenly I'm having foot issues mm. and then I pulled a butt muscle of all things. I didn't do it. <laughs> but you know, what's also cool is I'm embracing the aging. I'm growing out my gray. So some mm -hmm. of the silvers as you watch these shows. Oh, are you're growing to... out your gray, huh? <laughs> Well, for a woman, it's different. It is it's a little bit different. It's always different for a woman. It is. But we have started recognizing, okay, wait, when we're about to tackle this project, it's a little bit more difficult, or I, I'm more tired afterward yeah. than yeah. what I thought I was. Yeah. It might take a little longer to finish the project. Yeah. So we thought we would share some tips and some benefits mm -hmm. of why you need to continue to DIY, but also maybe some things that you might not have thought about if you are in our age bracket and some of those DIYs are starting to become maybe a little bit of a hurdle. So first we'll talk about some of the precautions you may want to take. And then later, we're going to get to the actual benefits of continuing to yeah. DIY as you age. Well, okay, one person in our life who is, I think, a DIY superhero is your dad. Oh, yeah, he's the Energizer Bunny. Yes, he turns 83, 83 this I week. Think. Yeah. And he is still going. Woodworker, yeah. phenomenon. Building things, and then still yeah. comes over and helps us with uh, our projects from time to time that's right and uh always hey if you need me to come over i'll do it that's you know, right he's ready to go but you know as i've watched my dad through the years uh I me mean, you know when we lived in vegas and he was in his 70s he climbed to the top of a stinking mountain yeah and uh, now he came down and laid right down on our floor <laughs> and was like i can't believe i did that but i mean that was impressive it's very impressive but you know as the years have traveled by in the last decade I definitely have noticed that he's slowed down a bit. Yeah. Uh, and then especially when uh, he's doing his own DIY porch project and steps through the wood and breaks his heel in a bunch of places. Yes. And, you know, so that's kind of slowed him down even yeah. further. So, but, you know, uh, it, I think when he gets out to his uh, shed and starts to woodwork, mm -hmm. it, it really helps to keep him active and young yeah. and uh so he's a good inspiration for us to look at that's right well and then i think one thing that we've noticed is that the recovery time if you do get injured mm -hmm. is a little bit slower yeah which is typical with any aging that's right you know i'm finding that even with myself i yeah. can't bounce back from a small injury like yeah. i did 20 years ago so <laughs> that's just part of the yeah. of the process mm -hmm. but I do think that, you know, there are some things that you might need to take into consideration to ensure safety, make sure that you can maybe prevent injuries yeah. and, you know, I think take some things into account yeah. before, you know, you plan on lifting the huge beam that's supposed to sort support, support the, the ceiling or something yeah. yeah, by yourself. Yeah. Get some help. <laughs> that could be step one. I think that's number make one. Make sure you have someone with you. Yeah. So that in case uh, you do fall and you don't have life alert uh, on your chain to uh, I've fallen and I can't get up, uh, that well, you have somebody. Talking, I mean, even in our age, we don't need life alert. And I don't oh, think your dad needs I life I kind of need life alert. Like, Please come help me. <laughs> um, but we have noticed that, you know, when it comes to moving heavy furniture, now that our boys are, you know, older yeah. and almost adults, we can say, okay, we're going to use your youthful bodies and muscles to yes. help us move mm -hmm. this heavy thing instead of it 
yeah. being us. Because it's, it's the surprise injury that's never fun. You're like, <laughs> I know I can lift that ottoman that goes with the chair. It's not that big, but you just pick it up in the wrong way. And yes. then, oh, my back, remember that? Yeah, ow, my back. You know, you're out for uh, two weeks. So, And I think that if you don't have someone who can help you, I think that that would be the ideal time to hire it out. Yeah. You know, we, we've discussed um, replacing a deck, but we definitely are hiring a professional to do that. Now, yeah. we are going to offer help. Yeah, to we see can if, do some things. And, yes. And that helps defer. If you find the right person, you can defer some costs that way right. to go, hey, I'm going to come out there and help you load stuff, maybe tear some stuff down, maybe right. hold this or that. And sometimes if you get the right guy, they'll work it out with you and go, all right, I'll knock off some some yeah. dollars because I've got a helper and I don't that's have right. to pay you. Mm -hmm. So I'll just knock off a little bit of the price. So that's always a little tidbit. Okay. So make sure that you consider asking for help mm -hmm. if you need it. Um, I think another thing that is key to prevent injury is using proper equipment mm. and good tools. Yeah. I think that no more can you try to you know, pinch pennies and, well, let's lift this up using this two by four and this jack. It's like, no, let's actually go and get yeah. the proper tool that can help you move this heavy item. I mean, now that they've got so many, yeah. you know, the, the disc movers that you can use and they've got the, yeah. tr the little dollies that you can put furniture yeah. on and it, it's just makes no sense. Go ahead, get the dolly, get yeah. the hand trucks and yeah. Even if, even if you have to them. rent it, from yeah. a big box store kind of thing because yeah. you know it's probably worth it it'll save you time and um and effort if you if you have so not only f uh human help but machinery help is very important right um and probably the bulk of the injuries from a DIY event is probably from the DIY tools you're using to <laughs> crank up. Yeah, I'll just use this two by four. Oh, you know. Well, you and, know, we used to call it DIY. Why did I do it that way? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that don't, could be something. Don't ask yourself that question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or maybe ask yourself that question before you start. DIY, why would I do this? Yes. And then, you know, think, hmm, that's going to be better to get a dolly, not a two by four, you know, well, or, or like we're wanting to replace a mailbox. Yeah. So yeah, we could sit there and dig. But I mean, if you go for 40 bucks for an hour or two, you can rent the actual, what's it called? An auger? Um, hole digger. Hole digger. Yes. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> but you can rent that and then take it right back. And then you've got your hole already prepped that yeah. the machine was able to do the heavy work for you. Mm -hmm. So I think that that is a good way to prevent you know, injury and also make things a little bit easier on you yeah. if you're in this age bracket that we are currently facing. Correct. <laughs> so like having the right tools that can help you with heavy lifting, um, that's more important to think about. You've got to think about your back. Uh, yeah. You got to think about your your hands because you need those to, to work with. Right. So, uh if you can avoid heavy lifting, especially if you're by yourself or only yeah. with one other person. Um, I think that that goes across the board yeah, that, for yeah, any that, DIY. No matter what age you are. And usually you're, you're stupider uh, <laughs> when you're younger. And so you think, oh, well, yeah, I can hoist that. Remember that guy that brought in the couch to our oh house one time? Gosh, he was he a young carried... fella. He was a big dude. Yeah. But he plopped that couch on the top of his head and just was walking across our front with this long couch just yeah. balanced on his head and with his arms. And we told him, said, your spine is not going to like that when you're our age, you know. <laughs> and uh, but he, you know, so it's those decisions you make early on mm -hmm. that can come back to haunt you later. Even our kids, when they uh, twist their, you know, knee or they do something. Go, ah, that hurts. I'm like, yeah, about give that about 20 years to marinate and then it'll, it'll come back. Yeah. It's going to pinch you yeah. in the middle of the night. One night you're going to go, what is that? <laughs> and it's like, well, remember that time you jumped off your bed being goofy. That was the cause of that. I love, uh, the comedian Brian Regan and mm. how he's like, Oh, I guess that's going to hurt forever. Forever. <laughs> yeah. 
waking up with a new pain every day. It's like, yeah. That's right. Okay, so then you think, okay, if there's going to be maybe limitations, then what projects are suitable? So, I mean, you can start with, like we already talked about, the outside. So you can talk about gardening and landscaping. Mm -hmm. So general gardening and landscaping is okay at any age, but if you're going to be digging post holes for a fence or Mm -hmm. if you're going to be doing some major um, redesign and um, plot leveling or Mm. any sort of work that would qualify as backbreaking, hire it out. Hire it out or make sure you get the right tool. tool. Rent the thing. Just rent the thing. Yeah. If that's the theme of this episode, rent the thing. But, you know, planting flowers, trimming bushes, cutting the grass, mowing the lawn. I mean, that's that you can do that, you know, at any age, but maybe, you know, moving and replanting a tree. Yeah. Like you should probably move, get some help on that. That's right. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Something else that you can maybe think about is if you're working on the interiors, uh, the whole painting and redecorating, that's very easy to do. Um, painting a wall. I mean, I've, I don't feel like that is that physical of a limitation except for maybe getting low if you've got knee or back issues. Yeah. Plan plan on how you're going to get up. If you're going to get on the ground, (laughs) go ahead and make a plan. Uh, draw it out if you need to. I'm going to roll on my left, get closer to the couch. All right, there we go. Get your protractor yes. out. <laughs> <laughs> Factor in the yeah. angle and then yeah. the... <laughs> Again, that's where life alert comes in handy because you're like, hey, I got on the ground and I can't get up. <laughs> but painting walls, refinishing furniture, any of that stuff is very mm-hmm. easy to do with the exception of maybe moving that piece of furniture. Yeah. So ask for help yes. when that time comes yeah. general decluttering and organizing when oh, you when yeah. you you know that's that's something that uh, you can do you're not limited by age on something right. like that uh but i guess you can also hire that out too you let the professionals do it because hey you've gotten to this point in your life where you're like you know what i don't have to do this for myself every time but if you do want to save some money that's not that's not gonna you know break the bank or, or your, your back. back oh, oh. Buckloon, what was oh. that so it's not just bad news, though. No. So keeping active is an, an uh, is a huge benefit. Oh yeah. When you're aging. Well, and I actually think that if you continue to be active and move, I think that that actually gives you youthfulness. I think that that's why yeah. your dad is yeah. able to still do what he does yeah. because he's never. He's stopped. not sat down that's in right. eighty something years. <laughs> He's never stopped just moving. Take a sit. Yeah, just chill out, Dad. <laughs> but yeah, so there's many benefits to doing the things we're talking about. Well, even it's though physical activity, yeah. exercise, um, movement is good. Yeah. It's good to keep your heart, you yeah, know, pumping right. and your muscles working. So. And it's good mentally because then you see something go from old to renewed, and that's right. That's a very pleasant experience. A sense of accomplishment. Yeah, I did that and I'm 80, you know. (laughs) That's Uh, right. My teeth fell out. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Is it not? I don't think. But it's still funny as as anything. Well, yeah. Teeth falling out. (laughs) Hold my colostomy bag. I shouldn't have lifted that two by four with the nails in it. It poked a hole. What is your colostomy? Is, do you have a part in you called the colostomy? <laughs> and what is it full of? Chocolate syrup? <laughs> I like chocolate syrup. Hey, kids. He always shows up. I don't know who this guy know. is. And there's always someone over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the benefits, you know, you've got physical activity. Uh, you, you talked about it keeps you mentally, you know, Active, yes. which is, it's good to keep your mind active yes. and do those calculations and, and design yeah, and, and be creative. It's math. But then there's also the sense of accomplishment. So yeah. those are the three huge benefits yeah. that I think that you need to take into account and, so, and so, continue yeah. and encourage you to continue mm-hmm. to do those DIYs. Yeah, go and DIY at any age. Just be thoughtful mm-hmm. and careful and enjoy it. Well, and I think one thing that we would be remiss to to not discuss, I mean, it has just been a little over six months ago where 
Trent had to have open heart surgery. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we, we are talking about aging, but even if it's, uh, hey, after a surgery, after a surgery. or some yeah. kind of injury or something that's happened and you're coming back to the game, yeah. then you want to use some caution and, and, and mm-hmm. know your limits. That's right. And again, my limits for a while were I can't really lift or reach too high because mm-hmm. things were... You definitely had weight restrictions. So I was like, will you get the plate? out of the cabinet for me <laughs> so I can eat. I mean, just even a plate yeah. was scary to lift, you know, right. for a while. Uh, but now it's like paint buckets I can lift. I mean, right. I'm, I'm back to almost normal. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm still thoughtful and I, maybe it's made me more thoughtful to make sure that I'm not doing anything that could potentially, you know, cause a setback. Yeah. Some yeah. kind of, yeah. Cause I, I, I feel so good and I'm moving forward that I don't want to hit a wall and right. and and hurt something else and mm-hmm. now have to wait out more work and, well, and, I and think miss that, things. That walking this journey over the last six months, I think that that's maybe one of the main reasons why we wanted to bring up age and mm-hmm. DIYing because we were hit with, I mean, that's kind of a surprise oh, yeah. thing to find out, wow, you have to have mm-hmm. open heart surgery and soon. Yeah. And that's a scary place to be. Mm-hmm. And so that shifted you know, our projects, we had to, I mean, it was a screeching halt and, just pause and, and you just had to push pause mm-hmm. and, and do that. But the important thing is, is that we pushed unpause yeah. and then we got back into mm-hmm. it. And then what I loved was seeing you take those accomplishments one by one and continue to push yourself a little bit further yeah. Each day. And I think that if you do that with your DIYs, you may, like if you are um, at some physical limitation right now, you may be able to find that, okay, wow, I painted that room and and now I'm suddenly more limber mm-hmm. or I've actually stretched these muscles yeah. or, you know, yeah. it might open up another opportunity for you. So that's just something that's exciting right. to think about. So that's us sharing some of our thoughts and experiences with you to hopefully help uh, give you some encouragement and also some uh, cautions to be aware of as you're starting any of your DIY projects. And of course, we want to hear all about those. So please tell us about those in any way you can think of, including commenting on this video here or maybe, uh, you know, looking up our phone numbers and giving us a call. Uh, (laughs) 1-800-DIY all the time and leave us a message there. That is not a real number. What if we did get an 800 number? We could get number? an 800 number and uh, everybody could call it and, and leave their messages for us. That's right. Yeah. We, That's, could, we could have that maybe be yeah. an option. Yeah. And then we could put on commercials on late night television and <laughs> tired of your DIYs? <laughs> call this number. You know, and maybe we could sing y'all a song or something. Yeah. We'll have a little yeah. jingle with it. That costs you extra though. <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed this episode. Make sure that you tune in each week as we have a new episode that comes out. And make sure to follow us on any of your social channels. And we always have lots of our tutorials on our blog. So we would love it if you would take a chance to go over to Noting Grace and check that out. <laughs>